how to understand when the people is like very have, have high self-esteem or low self-esteem how confident they are in themselves it depends on which actions they do which words they say and which habits they have there is a healthy self-esteem and unhealthy self-esteem how to objectively evaluate yourself that's the question knowing your strength knowing your weakness Calm reaction to criticism, the ability to laugh at yourself, not to use so much aggression toward criticism or resentment if you feel like someone offended you and you feel that you definitely don't deserve that. It wasn't fair in your opinion and this is a healthy self-esteem. It depends on the level and the quality of life that you live. It depends on which type of work you choose for yourself, which people you choose for yourself to communicate with, and what you have in your life. This is like very massive topic. Let's figure out the most important. I also have another video here about self-esteem. You can watch it later. Let's figure out in this specific uh, video today what is unhealthy self-esteem. It will give you answers. If you have a habit to prove something to others, this is pretty unhealthy. What gives you a sense of control and the inner peace is like the acceptance of oneself. Like your qualities and characteristics, not necessarily good ones, bad ones also. If you know yourself very well, where you're good at, where you're bad at, you don't need to prove people anything. Because you know exactly what you want. Usually the people know what they want. They don't care to prove something to others. They go with a confidence step. If you haven't decided yet your final goal, it's still very difficult to unbalance you. Because you confidently, you feel good on your feet. It is not recommended to prove something to others because it's a waste of time the practice shown it's useless. Also aggression to criticism. People with low self-esteem very sensitive what other people to, uh, say about them. I also have another video here dedicated to this specific topic you can watch it uh, later it's especially about hateful comments on social media if you still care about it watch this video it will help you to stop care about it because you cannot change other people what they say how they think um, if they wish to think this way you can change only your way of thinking again if you want this let's say someone is saying something un unpleasant for you you consider it like a criticism what can you do when you have healthy self-esteem like healthy reaction toward this you can take into account the opinion of others consider it for objectivity and depending on the result let's say you got it from your head when you analyze that you can take note or completely ignore it. It's not the reason to be upset because it's another person's opinion or another people's opinion. It's not your opinion. Don't take it too close to your heart. It doesn't have to ruin your mood. It's most likely have nothing to do with you. It's about that person who say this hateful comment or something unpleasant to you. Also, people with low self-esteem, they don't know how to accept compliments. Sometimes they feel embarrassed because they treat themselves like they look ordinary. Let's say someone gives uh, him or her compliment about the dress. They say, oh, this dress is like very old or something else. They also cannot argue in open conflicts. They can uh, consider themselves like unequal they have a lot of doubts they try to avoid like unpleasant topics um, where they have to argue so much also doubts as i mentioned they have a lot of doubts about including their actions did they do it right they hesitate too much anxious people they depend on opinion of others they care so much about what people think about them what these people say about them it takes very long time for them to make a decision they have some fear about this decision yeah confident people also have doubts but they have that core that uh, does not allow them to doubt themselves and the correct guideline which they go through the whole life because they know they're responsible for their own life and for the decisions they make 
the people who question their action, they may be right. But this is another reason to become better, not to get upset about uh, your strength, doubt their uh, strength and ability. Also, people with low self-esteem, they have the ability to blame others. Because low self-esteem is characterized by two types of behavior. When person defends himself so much and fights with his weaknesses, he's very aggressive, can react also. And when the person gives up, like he feel, you feel like he's too soft about some things. The second type who you feel is like soft, they always looking for problems in themselves. And they live with constant guilt. No matter which situation he will encounter with, he will always uh, blame himself. He might think that even he doesn't deserve anything better because he didn't deserve it. And that's how you define when the person has healthy and unhealthy self-esteem. But that was pretty much it for today about this topic. We're gonna discuss self-esteem a lot because it's very important. It affects basically everything, especially your relationship with your partner. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Write me what you want to discuss next. We're gonna talk about it.